Some useful exercises for beginners. I don't know, I always... Um, I was always kind of creative with how I practice. Thank you, Dash. So... Um, so the way I go about that is I would pick a piece to play, one that I would consider that I can I can do do this, I can learn this, or uh, and um, if if there would be a particular section uh, that's causing me trouble, I would I would come up with exercises that are kind of customized for that section. So it's always going to be something different, you know. Um, common exercises that can be helpful for every piece are scales. Scales are very difficult to play well, and they take a lot of time. Um, but it's, it's always good to practice scales. You know, um, with bow hands, with without, um, with with just one hand, each. Um, so I guess scales would be the answer. Start a learning and practicing skills. Um, also with skills, I. I practice those that are actually helpful in one piece, for example, in this uh, nocturne. The end, you, at, at the end there is this scale, right? This scale is fingered like, um, like an E major, it's not an E major scale. But it's almost, it's, the only difference is it starts from A and it ends on G sharp. Yeah. Oh, and it, it doesn't turn on E, it turns on D flat. So I would practice that scale for if I would want to learn this piece, I would then spend time practicing that scale, for example. Or the chromatic scale is also very, very often can be helpful. Yeah, I think that's the most important scale to learn to play on the piano, the chromatic scale. So those those would be some of my tips. Of course, there are there are many many things to say. Um, 